Hi everybody, this is Joe. I'm here to do a video on narcissistic personality disorder. And this video that I'm basically going to be covering on a lot of ways that a narcissist trap you in, how you end up being trapped into a narcissist and a lot of their tactics as far as what they do, what they do to you as far as you being trapped into them and what you're going to always notice with a narcissist is that they always want you to themselves and what I mean by that is that they don't want you to have any friends they don't want you to be hanging out with any of your friends or family they always seem to <clears throat> come off real jealous envy you know in the beginning where they want you to themselves or so and um what actually happened is that when you start to give up a lot of your friends give up a lot of the people that that's in your life you know to settle down in a relationship with these type of people or so you start to notice that the people that outside the narcissist themselves the people that that could speak into your life the people that could build you up the people that gives you strength the people that makes you feel good about yourself you start to notice that you start to come to the narcissist for all that you start to trying to gain your strength, your confidence with the narcissist. And most of the time what happens is that a narcissist always find this big fascination. They have this big fascination about you. They always talk highly about you. You know, they amaze at a lot of things that you do or maybe the things that you talk about. You know, it seemed like they amazed at your character, your personality, and a lot of this stuff is flattery. And what the trick behind this is that they built you up. They say a lot of things that built you up, and what happened is once they could build you up, you start to put a lot of your confidence, and you start to, you know, base your character you know, you start to base your pride on this person because they building you up. They making you feel good. You know, you actually around somebody who recognize you. And this right here can be a dangerous thing. This right here could be a setup. You know, it's a it's a failure already that's happening in this situation because they actually building you up. And what's dangerous about these people is that they cut like a two edged sword. And if you want to know what that means is that when they cut like a two-edged sword for, you know, one side of the sword, everything they talk about or everything they say about you, it can make you feel really good. And on the other side of the sword, just as how they can make you feel good about yourself, just as bad as they can make you feel about yourself as well. You know, it cut both ways. You know, the highest feeling that you could get from them. You can also get the lowest feeling when it's low. It really feels low. So that's what's dangerous about these people. And once you start to be around these people, and once you start to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, once you start to be around these people, you start to just base a lot of yourself on these people. You know, you start to feel good about yourself. You start to drive around in your car saying to yourself I can't wait to come home to this person or spend time with this person etc etc and what happens you know you subconsciously probably not prepared for what happens next really you'll start to notice that all the attention that they give you all the attention that they were showing you before you start to notice that start to wear off and you start to notice that they start to give a lot of other people attention. They start to do a lot of other things for other people that you feel like that you deserve. 
be in this in this relationship with this person and what happened is that when they not when they know we're around or so you start to notice that you have this feeling like you can't operate or you having this feeling as far as that you can't go on with your day because you need this person around and so you need this person in your presence so you need to be in the presence of this person and you feel like yourself again so that's already right there. You are already trapped in. Once you're feeling that, if you are already feeling that, you are already trapped in. You know, this is already one of the phases that you are in that you are trapped in. So once again, once that uh, they have you in this situation or so, that you'll start noticing that. They start to project a lot of their problems on you. They start to blame you for a lot of their actions that they do that that have that you probably feel that you are violated on, or a lot of their actions that you probably feeling that you know that you feel like they being unfair. You know they they probably did something to upset you, or something that probably maybe even hurted you, or something that probably put you in fear and when you come to this person start to talk to them about these problems you know they never really give you any closure on any of the problems or on how the way you feel because they always bring up something that you have done you notice they always bring up things that you had done and you still sitting there feeling the way you feeling it's it's not solved and you're trying to reach out to them to let them know like hey that wasn't cool what you done or this don't feel right or such and such or this or that. And they always seem to bring up like, well, you do this too. Or remember that time you did this and did that? Or well, I have this feeling that you was doing this and I had that feeling you was doing it at this time too. And there it is that you sitting there, the problem ain't solved. So what happened is you keep going to this person. You keep on and keep on going to this person trying to solve this problem that they had caused you and you notice that you're not really paying any attention to the people on the outside of the narcissist because you you stuck in the spider web with this narcissist trying to get answers trying to get answers from this narcissist and a lot of people on the outside it seemed like even if you do talk to these people you know either one of the thing happened one is that you'll start noticing that this person start to talk to you and i'm talking about when i say this person this person that's outside the nar narcissist your friend and so this person start to talk to you start to encouraging you to you know stay away from this person be away from this i'm just saying things in the example or so you start to notice when you go back around the narcissist that you know it's kind of short-lived it is like they do things or say things and it's kind of it kind of just brainwash that away from you start to and then you start to feel weak all over again you start to notice that you start to feel weak or so and they just seem like they just suck that strength right back out of you all over again and <clears throat> what's dangerous about this is that when you are actually away from this person you know when you're trying to heal your mind or you're trying to get a peace of mind you start to notice that you running back to this person and when you run back to this person all you get is more abuse and more abuse and the dangerous part is going to be harder for you to get out get out this situation with this um narcissist so you'll start noticing too that they'll start telling you you can have your friends and you can start both of y'all can start talking to other people and stuff and by this time that you are so far emotionally tied into this person or emotionally invested in this person where you're no longer thinking about these people that once was in your life that speak into your life or so because you're so caught up into this narcissist and you'll start noticing that the narcissist don't really care who you're talking to at this time and all the things that used to make them upset or rage out of envy and jealousy it don't even affect them no more than you sitting up in a lot of confusion or so you sitting up wondering to yourself what you did wrong to 
cause this person to make a 90 degree shift. You start to sit there to yourself, thinking to yourself that what could you have done different? You know, you start reviewing yourself and you feel like a big emotional wreck. So what happened then is that you start to run back to this person more and more and more trying to find answers, trying to get closure. And you never do. You know, you, you, you never do. And for anyone who out there, if this is happening to you, if you notice yourself in this situation and this is happening to you or so, eight out of ten, you will never get an answer. They will only feed you only enough, you know, only breadcrumbs of closure once you start to pull away. And what I mean by pull away, you probably will come to a point where you had enough or you're probably getting over something that they had done, you know, whatever, a pain whatever pain they caused upon you or whatever they caused upon you probably had enough. You probably want to stay away or you're probably trying to stay away. And once you start to get your mind back together, then they will talk a lot of sense. And what I mean by they talk a lot of sense, they'll start making sense to you, giving you understanding on what, what went wrong. And sometimes they will come off to you that they start to admit their flaws to you. They will go to the extreme. Most of the time they say narcissists won't admit their wrongs or anything. That can be true. But there are some narcissists that's out there that will try to admit some flaws to you. And it's only a trick to get you back in because they know deep down they know what they have done wrong. And they will go to the extreme to pull you back in. So they will do this. So be very careful not to be fooled by this. And I know it's going to be hard to detect this because their manipulative tactics are so intense. You can never tell from heads to tails if they're really lying or are they really for real. Because you looking looking at them in their face and they actually telling you this in their face and they could put off tears you know, they could seem emotionally needy. They uh, come off to you humble, like they thought about everything they done and they willing to change or so. So they will come off in these type of ways or will you back in all over again. They never allow you to come to your, you know, your maximum healing point. You know, they, they never allow you to come to that point because they know if you go to that point, you know, nine out of ten, you're not turning back around or so. So they're always trying to keep you. They're always trying to keep you beneath your strength instead of you reaching your full strength or so. And that's some of the traps that I was just trying to recover in this video as far as what a narcissist does. And what they do is they isolate you from a lot of their, uh, from a lot of your friends, excuse me on that one. They isolate you from a lot of your friends and you have to be careful with this because you actually soul tie with this person and you have, you have to break the soul ties with these type of people. It's not really easy, but if you're catching yourself in this situation where you're just getting weaker and weaker and this person just tearing you down, get out of that relationship while you can. And I will cover some videos basing on a lot of um, things as far as breaking these soul ties with these people, getting out the relationship with these people. So I'm gonna cover um, I'm gonna cover some videos as far as how to stay away from these people, how to just set boundaries around your mind, because everything is really, you know, everything is really being attacked through your mind. So that's what they do. They use all these tactics to try to trap you in and. That's what makes it so hard to get out. You know, you start noticing that you need your strength from them or so, which this is not a good thing. So um, hopefully I help someone out with this video. Feel free to ask any questions or whatever's on your mind or so. Um, like I said, I'm going to be covering some more videos as far as, you know, staying away from these people. As far as getting a stronger mindset towards these people. And hopefully I shine some light today. 
and have a good day. Thank you very much for watching this video.